Everybody. Thanks for being a part of Kid Zone today. We're starting a new series called Glow in the Dark. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now I'm going to start off by asking you a question and I want you to be honest about your answer, okay? I'm wondering how many of you watching get nervous, a little bit afraid when the lights go out. It's okay to admit it. Because I'll say this, even grown-ups get scared of the dark. We've all been a little nervous being places where you can't see. And you kind of wonder, what's out there? What is that in the dark? It seems silly, I know. But I bet even grown-ups have heard some strange noises in the dark. Now let me ask you this. Are you still worried in the dark if you're playing a fun game? with lots of glow-in-the-dark toys like these little glow sticks or bracelets or maybe even a lightsaber that glows in the dark. That kind of changes it a little bit, doesn't it? When you have things like that to play with, when you have glow-in-the-dark clothes on or the things that look kind of fun or crazy at night, then the darkness isn't so scary, is it? Darkness then becomes a fun place filled with laughter. It's not so creepy any longer. When we can turn on a light and we can make the darkness and kind of a glow in the dark fun, we can let go of our fears and we can enjoy ourselves, right? This series is all about letting go of those fears, getting rid of them, and letting Jesus fill our hearts with joy. I hope you know this. God doesn't want anyone to live with a spirit of fear. He wants us to laugh and smile and play, and he wants us to feel safe knowing that he is in control and that he will take care of us. Even when things are hard, when we're going through hard times, he's still in control and he will take care of us. In the very first sermon that Jesus ever preached when he was on earth, he made it clear that he doesn't want us to fear or worry about anything. Right from the start, Jesus let us know that he will worry and take care about the big stuff. And all we need to do is trust him because he loves us. One day, Jesus noticed a crowd was beginning to follow him. So he went up to a mountainside to teach them. And this is what Jesus said to them. It is pointless to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or clothes, your life is worth more than any of that. Look at the birds of the sky. They don't plant or harvest or store food away because your heavenly Father takes care of them. And aren't you more valuable to Him than they are? Could worrying add a single moment to your life? And don't worry about what your clothes look like. Look at the lilies of the field and see how they grow. They don't work to make their clothing and yet they are beautiful. 
And if God cares so much for the lilies that only last for a little while, why wouldn't He care for you? You don't need to ask the question, what if? Or worry about things like, what will we drink? Or eat? Or where? Your Heavenly Father knows all your needs before even you do. Don't worry about tomorrow, because that will just bring more worry. Choose to live for God, and He will always take care of you. Nothing is too small or too big for God. Worry is worth nothing. God's got this. How many of you sleep with a nightlight in your room? I bet even some of the adults in this room have a nightlight, don't you? That light can be helpful for many reasons. They gave us some visibility. If we have to get up and go to the bathroom, it's nice to know where we are going so we don't have to step on any toys or any sleeping pets. But night lights can do one more thing. They can ease our worries about the dark. They shed just enough light to let us know there's nothing scary lurking in our rooms. We are safe and we can rest our heads and get some sleep. You know, Jesus called himself the light of the world, and I don't think that's a, a coincidence. Jesus wants us to rely on him to ease our worries. He wants us to trust that he is looking out for us and that he will always protect us. No matter what happens, Jesus is there. He knows our needs before we ask, and he will always help us when we need him. Worries don't get smaller as we get older. They will only get bigger. The sooner we learn to trust Jesus with our worries, the easier it will be to give those big worries to him. Trust Jesus because he knows our needs. And trust him to always provide for us so we don't have to worry. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. Today we got a new memory verse for our new lessons, and it's out of John 8, 12, B, okay, which B means it's a part of another, like a, a, part, a part A and a part B. So this is what it says. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Like I said, John 8, 12, B. Uh, Jesus is telling us that he is the light of the world. It's his love and it's, it's, it's his life and it's his righteousness that makes him the light of the world. And he wants us to, do, to, to be the same way. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So in other words, we'll be filled with the, the same kind of righteous, the uh, righteousness of God. And instead of us, people will see Christ, hopefully. And so I hope you'll work on this Bible verse, and I hope you remember it. And uh, it's a great Bible verse, and I just hope that you will put it in your mind and work on it. You know, in all of creation, you won't find a plant or an animal that God made worrying. The only thing God created that ever worries is us. We are the only things on earth that know how to worry. And boy, do we worry a lot. Kids worry about things. Worry about things like fitting in at school, making friends. They worry about getting good grades, getting grounded if they don't. They worry about making the team. All sorts of other things, right? Here's something else. Adults worry too. In fact, I bet any adult you know worries way more than kids do. Adults worry about things like money, jobs, cars, things like fixing up things around the house, getting things done. And one of the biggest worries that grown-ups really have, kids. That's what worries us the most, our kids. Especially as they start getting older and making their own decisions, Whew, they keep us up at night worrying about them. Jesus wants us, though, to give him all of those worries. Give it to him. Whether your biggest worry is making friends at a new school, a new place, 
or how much that rattling sound in the car is going to cost to get repaired. Jesus says this. He says he wants us to give it to him. Don't worry. Get to know him. Seek him first and he'll take care of the rest. God doesn't want us to spend our lives being afraid. He doesn't want us to worry. He wants us to trust him. And just like the flowers of the field, the birds of the sky, he wants us to do that, to trust him so that we can focus on him, focus on serving him. So don't let worry distract you from what's really important. See, worrying doesn't make anything better. Worrying doesn't fix anything. It just makes us sick, right? So give your worries to God and let him take care of the rest. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for the things you show us in your word. We ask that you would help us to give our worries and our fears to you. And we ask you to give us peace. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening. Today we're going to play a game called... Shadow Puppets. <laughs> and how we play this is you can have a dark room, or you can have a room that's kind of kind of dark, like what we got here. And you're gonna have a wall, and what you're gonna do is have a way of doing your 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 puppets. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got two contestants, and he's gonna go first. He's gonna draw out of the pumpkin. See it right here. Mm -hmm. You see it? And he's going to do his shadow pumpkin, uh, shadow puppet, and then she's got to guess if it's right. All right? Winner, winner. Shadow dinner. All right, are you ready, boys and girls? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's get it started. All right. I've got mine again. <laughs> I think that's just one page. No, that's all three of them. Oh, yeah, I use the sticky notes. <laughs> All right, don't let her see it. Two. I can choose one? Yeah. Okay. Um, I got an idea. All right. right. <laughs> now get over. You got to get. No, you're doing it in the front. Oh. Shadow puppy. <laughs> <laughs> that. Bird? Good. All right, now it's your turn. And it's his turn to guess. <laughs> How do I do that? Try that. <laughs> what do I mm -hmm. Dog. Okay. How'd you guess that? <laughs> All right, last one. Oh, oh he. Yeah, I guess. For all the marbles. For my marbles, if you ever find them. There we go. Come on, man. I don't know. Alligator? It looks like an alligator. Oh, they're supposed to be. Five. Four. Not. Three. To give her a hint. It's got eight legs. Spider? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. All right, boys and girls. This is how you play it out. All you got to do is have a bright flashlight and a play wall to do it in. And you can just use your imagination. All right? This is to remind us that Jesus is a light in our dark world. And he wants to be a light in your life. And he wants you to be a light in a dark world also. All right, thank you, boys and girls. Play this all night. It's stuck. Pumpkin man. Oh, it fell. Oh. Wait, what was it? Why did I get dog? Bye. Oh. I got you. PTSN, talk to for now. I got you. Jesus is the one who lights our way. Let's hope for each new